Las Vegas Community Center. Mayor Carolyn Goodman hosted the event. We invited you a second time to give us solutions to these areas and six week work groups, as you well know, as you've been participating in them, were formed. Because of my age, I'm a person of let's get it done and let's move forward, but let's see the results. All of you, all your lives, since you've been adults, you have been attending meetings. And what's interesting is because so many of you keep coming back to this group, you know we are going to have results. Leaders have to find a way to work together. She went on to say that if any city can band together, it's Las Vegas. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I cannot tell you how much each of us who calls Las Vegas home feels about what you've been doing and what you are doing. And all I can tell you is shoulder to shoulder, we will plow ahead together. And I can assure you, your city government is going to stand with you. And after much discussion, the top six uh, items were selected. The one where addiction was the number one issue. Uh, lots of people with uh, substance abuse and other kinds of addictions. Then um, they told us that the families were disintegrating, and so they needed to strengthen the families. They needed uh, jobs. Um, the kids weren't graduating in school, so, so education was a big deal. Uh, lack of literacy, then homelessness and human trafficking. And so we asked the team, the, the folks who were invited, the top leaders, you know, do you want to meet on a regular basis? And that's how we came up with the work group uh, format. And we booked them so that they would have dates where they would show up and just start talking about these issues and figure out how we could connect the faith leaders to the non profits and other entities that may make this a more uh, forceful or, or more complete initiative. Together, this part of the Mayor's Faith Initiative is really important. If you imagine an umbrella, it's like giving a big hug to all the groups, because the family is the core of society. If the family breaks down, society breaks down, so I feel it's very important. I think um, the family is the key, because when a family is together, um, you can see the results on the kids. You... Well, I believe that strengthening the family is important because in every area, the family unit is important. The mother, the father, the children. I mean, just, you know, cousins, aunties, moms or grandmas. It's just important in every area. And that's where it starts, is the family. So it's just amazing at what, what's happened today. It was a fabulous event. The faith-based organizations are the key to get help to all the families when it comes to joblessness, homelessness, addictions, any of the different groups that we're working with. It was a great event. I mean, it's very exciting to see how pastors get together with the police department, with all the services that we provide to the community, and how we all together can work as a team and, all, and don't individual you know, like agencies, but get together and help each other with all the services that, that is in the community and a lot of people don't know about the services. I think what I what I've come to know is that it's so critically important for police to be involved in these types of issues because when police participate and when they lead, real change can happen. And I, and in, in meeting with faith leaders, I began to um, to uh, get ideas from them, we started. I am a proud member of this Mayor's Faith-Based Initiative because it opens more doors so that education is accessible. If we go back in history, what were the first units of education? The houses of worship, so they could learn scriptures, character education, and become acclimated. Education is a key to foundation. So as a work group, we want to draw together pastors and educate, sensitize them to addiction isn't just a drunk in a street right. or someone Very good. putting a needle in their arm. It's painful. It's like that. Is we lock people up because they're addicted. They're addicted to a variety of drugs or whatever it ends up being. And incarceration has never worked to cure addiction, ever. I've never seen it happen one time. And that's something that we have to, as a police organization, participate in, in a dramatically different way. And I think as, as leaders, 
we have an opportunity to impact those that, that uh, are challenged with the, the substance abuse. If you don't have the stakeholders buying in, it doesn't move any forward. Everybody can get together, put what you have on the table, put your needs out there, how we can work together. And it's, it's a Certainly, the Jobs Work Group is a collaboration of organizations coming together to provide work for the people who are struggling trying to find work. No, we're not the Job Connect Center, but we are a group of employers that's trying to provide direct work support to put people in Las Vegas to work faster. That's pretty much what we're all about, efficiently. The Mayor's Faith uh, uh, Initiative, we decided to collaborate all these organizations that I've been working with. Any So having the support of the faith people, the pastors, the leaders in those groups, is important to us, it's huge to us. So we thank Miss Mayor Carolyn Goodman for letting us spearhead this thing. It's a blessing to have our leaders in this city and this state behind us on it. So this is huge and we're very thankful to God. Is it, is it good? that we are preventing homelessness and making sure that our families and our youth and our seniors and our veterans are all um, connected to services to ultimately end homelessness or prevent homelessness. Because the, the faith-based houses of worships, they have an advantage with this. With a lot, a lot of times, some of the houses of worships with resources financially, but more so with people. So we can help volunteer, come alongside the city. Definitely the one powerful weapon that we have is prayer. So we can pray for the, the city that way. So I think happen, and, I, and, and I've seen it, we've done it as an organization, and there's an opportunity for us to impact um, aspects of our community that historically we would have never been involved in. That, that the church has always supposed to be the hospital, the spiritual hospital, if you will, where people walk through the door, they're, they're broken, all are welcome, but when they leave, they're healed, they're mended, they're strengthened, and they're put back in the world with more hope, more strength, and more determination. Well, I believe with the uniqueness of Las Vegas, uh, known all over the world for its promiscuity and, and looseness when it comes to sexual practices, you know, I believe that there is a remnant of men in the city of Las Vegas that are gonna be the miracle to putting an end to child exploitation, human trafficking, and even domestic violence. I believe that there's a very strong call to the men in Las Vegas to stand up, make a statement, and make a difference, beginning here, beginning in the heart. You know that they say in the church, well, my impression of today's celebration was uh, one of community involvement. Um, all the different aspects of our community and volunteerism uh, in the faith-based community and as well as law enforcement and government officials all coming together uh, for a common purpose, which is uh, to improve our community and, in, in essence, uh, work towards a solution to some of the ills that our society has. To me, the Mayor of the Faith Initiative is very, very important. Uh, because I see it as a vehicle to change society. Now, now obviously, we know that, that all trouble that, that happens, those things are, are spiritual. However, um, the church has a responsibility not only to pray, but to act. And so now we're praying, but when we have an opportunity to act and have a vehicle by which to operate in, to act in, it makes it a, a wonderful fit to where we can affect addiction, we can affect homelessness, we can affect strengthening in the family, we can affect uh, um, jobs, affects education, affects our young people, human trafficking, we actually can go out and touch. Because it's one thing to stay inside your four walls, another thing is to get out and do the work that needs to be done. And so the Mayor's Face Initiatives gives an opportunity for us to work and make the changes necessary to make our city a wonderful place. So, um, we love you. Be part of the Mayor's Faith Initiative and you'll have a number where to contact or an email in this video. Uh, have a blessed day. Get involved. Come join us. If you're a nonprofit organization, join us. If you are a pastor, join us. If you are a rabbi, join us. Help us. And most of all, if you're interested in homeless and helping the homeless, if you're interested in getting people jobs, if you're interested in education, in strengthening the families, it's very important we need the community's support.